Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman and today's video, I want to talk to those of you who are wondering when will my spouse pour back into me? I want to talk to you because here's the thing, you know, you may be feeling right now that you are the one who is always doing all of the pouring. You are the one who is always there for others. You know, you are the one who is praying, standing for your um, prodigal spouse. You're the one, you know, being loyal. You're the one doing the right thing. And you might even be asking God, when will my spouse pour back into me? When would they pray for me? When would they start fighting for me, right? And so listen, here's the thing. Um, understand and know that when God released your spouse back to you, they're going to pour back into you, okay? They're going to pour back into you. They're going to pray for you. They're going to support you. They're going to come back correct. But in the meantime, understand when we're dealing with prodigals, prodigals are not in their right mind. Prodigals are emotionally unavailable. Prodigals don't hear from God. Or if they are hearing from God, they are suppressing what they hear from the Lord. Okay, they're suppressing the truth. Prodigals are full of pride. Prodigals are double-minded. Prodigals, you know, has the enemy operating on the inside of them. So when you understand that you're dealing with a prodigal, right? A prodigal doesn't have the ability to fill you up right now. A prodigal, because they're not walking with the Lord, of course they're not mm. going to pray for you right now. Understand what you're dealing with here. So we have to allow God to take our prodigals through whatever God want to take them through. We have to allow God to fill our prodigal spouses back up, to heal them, to deliver them out of the hands of the enemy, to correct them, and to reveal, you know, a few things to your prodigal spouse so that when they come back, they're coming back pouring into you. See, we can't pour from an empty cup. We got to allow God to fill that cup up in our prodigal spouses. That cup need to be filled with love. It need to be filled with compassion. It need to be filled with understanding. It need to be filled with respect. We got to allow God to do his job. And in the meantime, try not to get impatient with the Lord, right? In the meantime, while you're praying and doing all the right things that the Lord is requiring of you, don't you forget to continue to fill your cup up, okay? Don't you forget to take time out for yourself. Don't you forget to love on you. Take yourself out, right? Treat yourself to, you know, a massage or whatever the case may be. Don't you forget to pour back into yourself, okay? But know that when it's time, when God sends your spouse back, they're going to come back. They're going to pour into you. They're going to speak to the king and the queen in you. They're going to pray for you and your children. They're going to support you. They're going to see what you're doing for your prodigal right now. You're doing it unto God. And so God is going to send it back. Whatever you're doing for God, he's going to give it back to you double. Okay? So don't worry. Don't worry. Don't get weary and well-doing. Your prodigal spouse will come back pouring into you. Okay? So that is it. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.